The Coquel Indian tribe currently operates the Mill Casino in North Bend. It's been pursuing the possibility of opening a casino in Medford for the last 10 years. What that would require, legally speaking, is for the land to be placed into trust. What that means is basically giving it sovereign designation, uh, which is a part of establishing a casino under Oregon law. The tribe hopes to remodel its South Medford bowling alley, Roxy and Lanes, into a 30,000 square foot gaming facility. The proposal includes a 16,000 square foot gaming floor with 650 gaming machines, a bar, and support services. We're looking at this, we're analyzing, and we're, we're working on coming up with what we think would make the city whole in terms of services provided to sovereign land um, and the financial um, consequences that, that coincide with that. The Bureau of Indian Affairs has come out with a 250-page environmental impact statement on the development. City Attorney Eric Mitten summarized the impact statement along with different alternatives highlighted Thursday night for City Council. It's really a discussion of four different options related to the Coquille Tribe and gaming. Those include a casino located on an undeveloped property in Phoenix, expansion of the existing North Bend Casino, and no additional casino development. Impacts in police and fire, transportation, stormwater, building safety, and planning impacts were also discussed. Members of the Coquel and the Cow Creek Band of Umpqua Tribe of Indians were in the room and listened in on the study session. I don't approve of the casino at all. You know, I was born and raised here, and I don't want to see it put other tribes out of business. It will affect our tribe as well as Klamath, Green Rock, Tawa, you know, and, and I still stand for one tribe, one casino. This is about the, this local economy, this local community and the benefit to it. Uh, I understand another tribe or another business may see this competition, but that's the nature of our, of our market is to compete. Minton says ultimately the federal government will decide if the land is placed into trust, not the city.